Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. We have our second set of guests in the studio, two young men who are making a difference in our local communities. Now, they are partners and the founders of Dreams of Brighter Day Initiative. Now, one of them has been on the show before. You know him as a vocal slender, but his name is Eric Obu. And of course, he was discovered by the BBC due to his fantastic talent and whilst he was singing. Today, he's joining us and they're both going to share with us what their project is and how you can be a part of it. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, you're welcome. It's always a delight to have you, vocal slender. <laughs> yeah, we always give God the glory. Because uh, you people give us a platform to always tell our story, and I think is is fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us. And today, joining Vocal Slender is Zico. Thank you so much for joining us as well. You're welcome. You are an artist. We will come back to Vocal Slender's story. We know your story, <laughs> but we'll still come back to you. Let's speak with Zico first. Are you also someone who lives in the slum? Yeah, I do. All right. So tell us about your journey. Oh, uh, a journey. Of the dream music? Yes. Uh, it, it hasn't been easy. Did you have the same story? Because I, I know his story, which we'll share with you. Did you <laughs> no, have the same no, no, story I don't with have you? The same story so, what's your story? Me. Uh, my story is like every usual story. story. Uh, we've been working hard to get to where we want to be. So, we hope we'll get there. What kind of music do you do? Basically, Afro pop uh, and any kind of music, too. All right. I understand. We do. But basically, Afro pop. So for the benefit of those who probably haven't stumbled on your documentary mm. on BBC, this man is a really famous man, just so you know. You can Google him, Vocal Slender, on Google. Tell us, once again, let's relieve that awesome, you know, time in your life when the BBC <laughs> discovered you. Tell us about it. Well, you know, we can't stop telling the story because to inspire a lot of youth out there so that they won't give an excuse why they fail in life. Well, when I, I my life has not been rosary when I was growing up, Life of Holy Stone pepper on the road, but I use the pepper to make pepper soup. So it's funny. So growing up in Ajegule, where most of the youth who you see as your role model were into either arm robbery, conductor, or scavenging. And as a poor young boy who doesn't who was staying with the stepmom and the stepmom decided not to put us keep us in the apartment and chase us out of to the street. We choose scavenging instead of choosing robbery. So we decide to go through the street of Lagos, picking plastic bottle until we find ourselves in the dump. Right in the dump, in Ojota dump site, is a very funny story because the only people we are better than are mad people. All the waste in Lagos State get to that Ojota dump. And you see more than 5,000 people struggling, struggling to pick one or two things, to sell it and to use it to survive. But along that way, inside of me, I know there is something different. So books people throw away, I gather those books, I read them, and those books now change my thoughts, the way I see life. But the beautiful thing is that I was educated. You know, that's why I keep championing. Education is the, the only solution, the key that can liberate a man. You understand? If you, you, can't, you can't give a child everything, but don't forget to give that child education. So maybe if I didn't know how to read, how would I have liberated myself from the dump? See how most of my friends are still in the dump and feel that we have help out of the dump? So the beautiful thing is the BBC find me singing, and they did a story on me that was showed in UK and it was, it was a hit in the UK, and I traveled to the UK, and a long story. So no time yet to tell the story. By the end of the day, look at who you are. Now, you, you had, in this day and age, we have a lot of young people who wouldn't go through half of what you went through, but decide to make money or make ends meet through illegal means. Mm -hmm. But you decided to take what life handed to you, and you made the best out of it. You, try to make legal money and at the end of the day not only have you bettered your life you've also improved the life of others in the dump as well yes. which leads us to the conversation about the projects that you're working on what's the project about yeah you know we try to see things differently in this part of our world because as i we sit down together as my partner recently we sit down together and say okay a lot of nigerians keep running out of this country but the funny thing the lebanese the indian the chinese keep coming into this country. Maybe there is something we are not seeing. 
So how do we get Nigerians to see these things? Let's get the youth, let's get them back to school. So we pick some children who are not in school, put them in school, get friends to support these children. And recently we just, we just look at it and say, okay, what is the best thing we can empower the people in Ajigule? Every, apart from food, the next thing is everybody wear clothes, fashion. So we come up with another sister partners or from doing some better initiative called Nesca Fashion. We set up a fashion school, Nesca Fashion Academy, where people can learn fashion for free. We bought all the machines, all the industrial machines, set up machines, and some few friends support all their some machines. And we just opened it this month. We have nine people learning already for free. And we have been making school uniforms because we try to fix. When I was going to school, my uniform was so bad. So I said the first thing we'll do is all the children who don't have uniform, we get people to get materials and we sew those uniforms. Wow, fantastic. Well done. Yeah. Sikori, let's talk about how this project that you're working on, how has it affected your life personally? Well, I um, personally, I just, it's just what would derive the, the pleasure, the joy would derive from this project, you know, seeing all what is happening in the slums, most especially at Jigula, you see people, you see people who cannot afford most of these things, you understand. Looking at our, you understand, the, the, where we've gotten to today, we went to school, by the grace of God, we went to school. Some people are not opportune to go to school. So we just, okay, we can do this, you know, bring people together, see if people can support this dream, you understand, it's a dream. So it's really, it's really, it's really impacting in, in the society. So it's, it's just, it's a load, it's just, it's something that, it's something you, 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 it's, 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 it's something. It's basically, I'm sure that it's, I hear oftentimes that people who are involved in some acts of philanthropy basically don't just feel the joy of, you know, putting a smile on someone else's face. It's also therapeutic. It makes you feel better about yourself. It makes you feel like you're causing a change and you're affecting the society positively. So what you're doing is admirable, it's commendable, it's absolutely brilliant, so well done, guys. If mm. people wanted to be a part of this project, how can they get in touch with you? Yeah, you can get in touch with me on my Instagram page, Vocal Slender, and get in touch with Zico as Zico Corey, and you can get in touch with me on Facebook, Vocal Slender, or email me, vocalslender at gmail.com. That we need people to support this dream because we are doing a lot. Where we, every September, we normally do back to school. The reason is a lot of children don't have school back to, to go to school and school center. And they give those things as, as an excuse of not going to school. So we try to make sure that these children don't have any reason not to stay in school. Some is uniform, some is bench. It's, it's, they always sit on the floor. And then every December we do Christmas in Ajay Gule. And we also, because of the lot of multitude we have in Ajay Gule, Ajay Gule is made of about 800 or 1 point something million people stay in that small locality. So 30,000 are musicians. So we are also doing Ajay Gule Music Festival, giving a platform for the yeah. upcoming artists Ajay to Gule be on Music big Festival. stage, bring big artists so they can be on big stage and put their put their performance on YouTube so they too can feel that they are doing something. Okay. So make them feel that, no, this is a dream. Because the best legacy you can live in life is to inspire a man to get to where he's going to. Hmm. The best legacy you can live in life is to inspire a man to where he can go to. That's a fantastic quote. Thank you so much for sharing yeah, cool. that with us. And thank you for the work that you do. We hope that people can be a part of this amazing work that they're doing, changing the narrative. You know, when we hear of Ajegunle, there's so much. What is the picture like in Ajegunle? Maybe you should give us an insight before this is the last question. <laughs> because there are many people who have never been to Ajegunle ever. So um, tell us, what does it look like in Ajegunle? Yeah, the picture first, if you, if you view it overview from the air, you see the rusty zincs. Oof. But the, the, the Ajegule means a land buried with wealth. So the picture of Ajegule, you see, is, is let me say poverty. Because it's not like Makoko where the, the people in Makoko have a second chance going to fish. They are fishermen and they sell fish. 
You understand? Ajigle, the, the youth doesn't have where to fall back to. So that's why but they are more talented. They have this talented spirit in them that makes them outstanding. So no matter how they criticize us, how they penalize us, we always stand out. At the end of the day, Ajigle is a land buried in wealth. Yes. At the end of the day, we're hoping that these actions by the both of you and many other young people can help to showcase the wealth that is in Ajegule, the talent that is in Ajegule, and totally change the narrative of what some people have projected Ajegule to be or what it actually is. Thank you so much for joining You're us. Welcome. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.